out with TacticalSupply.com. If you own a Super Buddy satellite meter, chances are you've got an email notification letting you know that an update's available. Now, what this update means is that the manufacturer has either made a change or improvements to the firmware, or that they've made changes to the satellite information on the field guide. Now, it only takes a couple minutes to update the meter, and both of these things are very important to keep updated. Um, you want to make sure that you're not going to run into any problems when you're aligning a dish or doing any type of troubleshooting, so I highly recommend uh, keeping it updated. Now, there's a few things you're going to need to, um, to get your Super Buddy meter updated. Uh, the first, obviously, is the Super Buddy itself. Now, depending on which model of Super Buddy you have, uh, you'll either need the, the USB cable that came with it or the serial cable that came with it to connect to connect to your computer. Now, right now Applied Instruments only has software for a Windows-based PC, so if you want to use a Mac to um, update your meter, you're going to need to have a Mac that can run Windows on it. Uh, the last thing you're going to need is an internet, um, internet access. The way that the, uh, the uh, Super Buddy update program works is that it actually goes onto the web and checks the um, website for updates. So you don't have to continually download the same program over and over again as updates are available. Once you have the software, it'll go to the website and get the updates for you. Um, to get the software to actually do the update, um, we're going to go to Applied Instruments website. And we're going to go to www.appliedin.com. This is the manufacturer's website where the most current update file will always be. Um, you can either navigate through the actual website to the SuperBuddy page, software updates, um, or you can go directly to the download file, which is located at um, www.appliedin.com forward slash downloads forward slash flash update zip.exe, um, which you can see right here in the video. That will actually take you to the file to download uh, for the update. Now, once the file's uh, completely done downloading, um, just click the Run button, or depending on what, uh, what uh, web browser you're using, whatever file or whatever option you have that's going to open the file. Once you open the file, it's going to want to extract it into a, into a directory on your C drive. Go ahead and let it extract it. Uh, click the Unzip option, and that will give you a, a, a little pop-up window to let you know how many files were unzipped. Go ahead and click OK on that. The next screen that's going to take you here to is, uh, is asking you what operating system you're using. Uh, my case here, I'm using Windows XP. Um, if you're using a different operating system, just pick the corresponding number. Uh, since I'm using XP, I'm going to pick number 5. It's going to run through, uh, it's install the, dri the uh, drivers for the Super Buddy so when we connect it, it recognizes it. Um, and when it's all finished running all uh, its um, installation and getting all the drivers installed, uh, just hit the enter key and uh, that's it. It's, now we have it completely installed. This is going to put a couple programs onto your desktop. One is SAT Transfer and one is Flash Update. SAT Transfer is another program um, for running other uh, tests using the Super Buddy. Uh, we'll go over that at a different time. Right now the program uh, that we're going to use is called Flash Update. Now the next step we're going to do before we run that program is we want to connect the Super Buddy to our computer. Uh, the model that we have here uses the uh, USB port on it. So we're going to take our USB cable and connect it right to the bottom of the meter. If you have a, uh, a PC cable or a, uh, a serial cable, you're going to connect it the same way. Now we're going to take the other end of the USB cable and we're going to plug it directly into our computer. Now as soon as we connect it, you should see a little window on there that pops up letting you know that it found new hardware. Give it a couple seconds, it's going to install all the drivers for it. Uh, once it gives you the, um, the uh, notification down in your taskbar that uh, the new hardware is ready to use, we can go ahead and start the program. So we're going to go ahead and open this Flash Update program. And also at this time, go ahead and turn on your Super Buddy meter. Now once the software starts, you're going to notice on the top half of the screen it's got some basic connection information. Um, model, module, hardware version, serial. Good information, but right now we're going to pay attention to the bottom half of the screen where it has the components and the options. These are like the main guts of the Super Buddy, and these are the updates that, that uh, Applied Instruments is continually sending out. 
Um, in this case, the, the way that I have my meter configured right now, um, all the updates are current on it. But uh, we're here in Plymouth, Michigan. Let's say that I was out in California on the uh, west side of the country. So we're going to change our postal code look up here to a USA zip code west. Now you'll notice here that the version available 1.06 is higher than what's currently installed. So by default it's going to put a check mark there saying, hey, we need to install this. This, this is the same for all the other five options on there. If the version available is higher than what is installed, it's automatically going to put a check mark on there. Now after everything's checked off that you want to, that you want to update on the meter, the last thing that I'd recommend you do is connect an AC power cable to the meter. I never recommend doing an update solely on battery power. And the reason why is if your meter shut off during an update, um, it, could, it could leave your meter in a mode where it won't even turn on and you'd have to send it back to Applied Instruments to uh, get that corrected. So it only takes a couple seconds to hook up the uh, power cable and uh, then you know you don't even have to worry about it. Now the updates can take anywhere from you know, 2 minutes to 20 minutes. Um, just connect it, leave it sitting there. Uh, when, when the updates complete, the little bar on the bottom of the screen, you'll see the little uh, blue uh, progress dots go all the way across. When it's done, it'll let you know it's done. And um, that's all there is to updating these meters. Now, the uh, notifications come out um, at, at random times. It really depends on, um, on what Applied Instruments has going on with their engineering department as well as changes in the satellite. So uh, we send out updates here. Uh, if you'd like to get on our Super Buddy update list, um, just send an email to sales at techtoolsupply.com. Um, that's all there is to it. Uh, thanks for checking out Installation Nuts and Bolts, and uh, we'll see you next time.